Now, let's go over a different workflow for how we can go about finding and fixing missing frames. The first tool we'll talk about is grid view. Now, if we're annotating an object, we could open up grid view and look at all of the LiDAR points arranged as a grid. What we will also see is not only the frames where the object is annotated in, but also the frames where the object is not annotated in. So for example, if we see that there's some frames here that the object isn't annotated in, we could see it and we could add those frames in. That, this is a very easy way for us to see. For example, if a car becomes occluded and it doesn't get activated, we could easily spot that error and we could add the keyframes or the frames to annotate that object. Another way that we can go through is looking at camera view. Um, whenever you open up your 2D LiDAR task, you should always look at the camera views. Go to the first frame and go before and the first frame the object was annotated just to double check if that object is visible. The cameras in LiDAR in B are fairly well calibrated, so you should be able to see any object that is visible in camera view in LiDAR view. So this car, for example, if we can see that it's not annotated but is clearly visible in camera view, you should double check for LiDAR points because chances are it is actually there, it just wasn't annotated. You could also do this for the last frame that an object is annotated. Say, for example, there's a car that's driving away from us. Always double check whether or not it's visible in camera view. And then second, always double check if it's visible in LiDAR view. Um, both of the two are fairly well uh, aligned. And then one way that you could also use those methods together is to combine camera view with grid view by selecting the toggle here. What this will do is it'll show the camera image in a grid just like regular LiDAR view. Um, but this is useful for seeing, hey, if this object is visible, chances are it's visible in the LiDAR view as well. Um, that's a really good way for you to just gut check and quickly check if an object is visible. The next way that we have is the 3D view. The 3D view is another way for us to check uh, four missing activations or missing frames. Here we could see the actual point cloud and we are able to scrub, which means go forward or backwards in frames to see if the cuboid is there long enough. If there are points and there's no cuboid, that's a sign of a missing frame um, and that's a sign that we need to fix that. The final tool that we have is the spectrogram. We'll go over how we could use a spectrogram for positioning but the spectrogram is also very useful for finding missing activations. And we'll go over how to use it right now. So here we have this object here. And we can open up the spectrogram by clicking on the bottom panel here, the last one on the left panel. And what we see here is all of the points in relation to the cuboid. We see these white dots, which represent keyframes and these grayed out area with the stripes, the diagonal stripes, represents an area where the cuboid isn't annotated in. However, if I were to remove this keyframe, for example, we could easily see here that there's a grayed out area and that there's points, these colorful dots represent the LiDAR points inside the cuboid. That means that we could easily spot any missed activations. If there was any colored dots in this grayed area, that means they belong to the cuboid or they potentially belong to the cuboid and you need to look for a missing activation or a missing frame there. So in this case, say for example, if I were to remove all of these frames, this would be a very bad mistake. And you could easily spot it by looking at the spectrogram. Here's this blacked out area. This is the part that was annotated. White dots represent keyframes. And here we see points that were inside of the cuboid, but the cuboid wasn't activated because we see it's grayed out here. So we need to go and we could look here and you could see how the object is still visible in camera view. And we just need to activate and add this keyframe here. So if I press enter and drop the keyframe, the points will show up. And that's one way that we could use the spectrogram alongside camera view and grid view to help look for missing frames.